Hey, what's going on guys? Um, it's Valdir, and today I'm gonna do a bit of a special video. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about a book slash TV series that I like a lot, and it's A Song of Ice and A Song of Ice and Fire, or more commonly called Game of Thrones. Um, so I'm gonna do a little review of the little package that I got for the book and after that I'm gonna give you like my thoughts on the series and all without revealing spoilers uh, with you know the camera showing my face but for the first part let's just review um, the, the package itself so uh, I got it for my birthday um, my, I got like money at my uh, birthday and I got this little package here. Um, I got it at um, it's basically a local bookstore. So even if I would told you guys, you would not know. Or if you come, uh, if if you're coming from Quebec, uh, it's called Archambault. So I got it there. Um, the old package itself cost me around, I would say. Tax included fifty dollar, um, which basically give uh, with taxes twelve bucks per book. Yeah. So um, this package contains four books. You got um, the first one, Game of Thrones, A Clash of King, A Storm of Swords, and Feast of Crow for Crows. So um, yeah, uh, I bought the entire package all at once because I thought it was pretty you know good looking and it would uh, be pretty in my um, bookshelf it's not a very huge one but if I can have something pretty why not so this is the first side um, this particular uh, package was you know designed after the series went out as you can see because there is the picture of the series so I'm not one of the few who um, read the book before the series came out so so on this side you can see uh, you know Game of Thrones original series by HBO uh, number one New York Times best-selling author George R. R. Martin and A Song of Ice and Fire and that's the deal the Taylor series is called A Game of Thrones but uh, Game of Thrones is the name of the first book but the name of the series uh, the old history is A Song of Ice and Fire that's the difference so um, uh, here's you can see Darnaris. I'm not sure if it's exactly her name let me just I'll, I'll, I'll check later but yeah that's her with her little blown like white hair of hers and it's in her horse behind her on this side uh, you, it's nothing very special it's just uh, uh, some random forest with the moon with the same uh, you know not drawing but the other name and the name of the series and it mentioned what it include it include Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords and a feast for crows. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. On the other side, um, you it's basically the same thing, but on this side you get um, Edward Stark uh, picture. And if you guys are aware of you know that old internet man thing, it's the brace yourselves man for people who would not have figured it out yet. So here's the three books. Um, they got an average at, of about, I think it's 800 pages. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Let me check it out real quick. at the top so 
829 um, pages, which is, um, and it's not necessarily uh, very big, so there's a lot of reading inside of it. Um, the interesting thing about those books is that, based on the idea that in Game of Thrones you follow a whole bunch of character, at the beginning you follow the Stark family, but eventually it's spread out and you start following other character. So the way it's it's written, it's pretty smart because at the beginning of every chapter you get the name of the person that's going to be featured. For this one, it's Tyrion. Tyrion. But uh, if you go like Tyrion again, oh, I mean this one is Caitlyn. It's Caitlyn. So, so it makes the old story a lot easier to read because you. Every time you know uh, who's, if, who's it's implying. So I say Game of Thrones is a book series, but in fact, it's a whole bunch of little stories all um, meant to work together. And um, who, all those stories together uh, come to um, let you know what's the story of a star, a Song of Ice and Fire is. Uh, so yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the first book. I'm gonna try to do something cute here. If I can. So, uh, this is the second book. I haven't started reading it yet, but, uh, I'm gonna do it, uh, pretty soon because I'm almost done with the first one. Um, so yeah. Um, I like the, um, the front pages, it's, it stays simple, it's not like anything extra complex, but, uh, I think it's pretty, pretty good looking at the same time. Uh, behind you can see, uh, you know, the little story about the book and, uh, again, some plugs of the older by some, some, uh, journal-like for instance, on this one, it's the Denver Post. Um, so yeah, so that's the second. There is a fifth book is out. I'm not sure what's the name of it. Uh, I could look it up on internet, but uh, I have no computer right now. So. so that's the third one. I really like that that green color. It feels feels nice. Uh, and look at the helmet. It's pretty cool. And what's okay? There's no plug on the back of this one. Uh, I'm curious, was there one behind the other one? Yep, and it was Robert Jordan. So, yeah, that's uh, the third book. And that's the fourth one. I'm gonna do a video if you guys are interested when I'm gonna be getting the fifth one. I could do um, a bit of a vlog if you guys want to. I could bring you like if I'm allowed to in the store and you know record me buying it and all. Uh, but yeah. And uh, oh, the American Tolkien by the Times. A fantasy series for hip, smart people, even those who don't read fantasy. Detroit Free Press. So there's a lot. I, I like the um, the cover of this book. You feel like they want to convince people to read this book because yeah, it's actually pretty good. Um, yeah. So uh, I guess uh, this wrap up uh, the the review by itself uh, now I'm gonna proceed and do uh, my opinion so um, it's probably be less relaxing because I'm gonna be speaking more loudly but uh, yeah let's get to it all right so uh, now is the time for me to talk a bit more about my opinion of the the TV series and uh, the book as well so first I just want to say that I'm going to make this entire thing spoiler-free, so, um, yeah, uh, don't, 
don't be afraid to watch if uh, you're thinking about reading the books or either watching the series. Uh, it's gonna be good for you because I'm pretty sure it's gonna make you uh, make you want to uh, check out that series. So, uh, so so far I've seen the first few seasons of uh, the series and I've almost read the first book. So first, um, I I would say that personally I enjoy Game of Thrones more than uh, Lord of the Rings. I know there's a huge debate on that, but I feel like those two series are quite different, but personal favorite Game of Thrones. Uh, the reason why, uh, it's quite simple, it's because um, I'm a guy who enjoy like the old actuality politics and all that good stuff, and in Game of Thrones, politics play a huge part in this series, so I would say that for somebody who is kind of like me, who like politics, Game of Thrones is a really, really good uh, book to read because it's kind of fantastic but there's also a huge part of realism so that's pretty nice um, so far in the series uh, I've watched the first season and I would say that so far uh, it's pretty much the same as in the book uh, they don't skip anything everything is in the series uh, that's probably a big difference from Lord of the Ring because in Lord of the Ring they do huge skips. Uh, reason why is because they do a movie of almost three hours for one book, and there's too much detail if in Lord of the Ring to be uh, assembled in only one movie. So that's why they have to skip so much. But uh, if it's an entire uh, series, uh, which basically an episode is, I don't know. I think Game of Thrones has twelve episodes in the first series uh, season. So twelve episode of almost an hour each make basically let's say 12 hours of of content which is i think more than enough to put uh, everything that there is in the first book so yeah um uh, what else what else um so yeah i would say that the biggest difference with the book is probably uh there's more description so if you're somebody who is very addictive uh, addicted to you know hear all the specific details and you know yeah for instance an example at the beginning of the first book, they explain like uh, why Winterfell was built at the precise place that the, the city is, and all kind of cool stuff like that. So it's not necessarily something that that's key to the story, but it's cool to know if you if you uh, want to hear it. So yeah, um, so yeah, uh, I would say that Game of Thrones is kind of slow at the beginning personally when i start watching the series i was used to watching series with you know constant action in game of thrones it starts slow but once it started it it's constant action it's non-stop i would say that the the first season is pretty slow because you know they explain to you all the character uh they let you know what's up with the politics of the kingdom because long story short in game of thrones there is uh, uh, seven kingdoms that are ruled by King Landing, which is the the central place where all the decisions are are taken. So uh, yeah, and so they let you know how this all things pan out and um, how the world is basically ruled uh, ruled for uh, that time to uh, that that kind of period that 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 kind of period. Wow, the period of time. Uh, so yeah. Um, but I would say that in the three or four last episode, uh, last episode of the first season, that's where the action start and never go down from that point. Uh, for people who have watched season two, you know that it's constant action. There's always something happening, but, uh, you know, the, the huge, um, I would say, um, I mean, everything is useful in Game in Game of Thrones. Don't get me wrong, but the old I will not say conflict, but old story start at the end of season one, basically. Uh, it's kind of a spoiler, but it's not like so much. You know that at some point action gonna start. Um, but yeah, um, so like I said, I really enjoy the series. I'm really looking forward uh, for season two that should be coming up. Um, I think it's. In February, I'm not sure. I'm not. Don't don't take this for uh, for truth. Uh, I'm I, I'm not 
still not sure when this is gonna start, but uh, I really want to watch it. Um, so yeah, definitely Game of Thrones is definitely a recommendation. Um, if you don't like uh, details so much, I would suggest you that you stick to the series because uh, they skip like juicy detail and just give you uh, the core action and what's happening. So that that's interesting. And if you're interested into first, if you want to you know the story faster, definitely read the book because uh, there's already five books out and the season two is like the second book. So and they're gonna start the third season. So definitely, if you want to know what's gonna happen, read the book. And there's a lot more description also. So that was my review of the Game of Thrones uh, TV and book series. I uh, hope that you enjoyed it. By all means, if you have any comment, suggestion, or um, interrogation or question that you want to ask me, for instance, uh, you know, let me know, and that's gonna be my pleasure to answer you. Maybe if there's a lot of questions, I'm gonna do another video, or uh, if it's only a couple questions, I'm gonna answer them via the comment section. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I sure did um, enjoy making it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.